So if you've been following along, we've got to a point where we've made this web map and we've added our own vector layer to it, which are these uh, kind of polygons, offset polygons they have here. And that layer is going to be styled with the open layers defaults. Here we're going to go over how we can update those styles with open layers. So let's get into the code here. I'm going to open Visual Studio Code up. And I'm going to come down and let you start a new section here above our example layer. And let's do, let's call this layer styles. Okay. And so let's make a new variable and we'll call this our field style. And now we just need to specify that this is uh, an open layers field style we'll be able to add it to our layer. And so we'll do that by saying new.ol.style.fill. And then we can specify some properties. So let's specify a color. And this is going to be a list of red, green, blue, alpha. Okay. Um, and so if we want to make this red, let's just make, try to make it red. We'll do 255, 0, 0. And then alpha is the transparency. So let's make it fully transparent. Make it 1. Okay. Um, and so that'll give us a totally solid red color for our fill. And now these values are all 8-bit unsigned integers, which means they range from 0 to 255. So if I wanted, oh, sorry, so this should be 255. Um, sometimes I do alpha on a percentage basis, but this is on an uh, integer basis. Um, so this means we have 255 for the red value, 0 for green, 0 for blue, and 255 for the alpha value. Oh, and this fill, sorry, should be capitalized. Okay, so we have that fill set up there. What we need to do is we now need to add this fill style to our layer. And we can do that by adding a style property to our layer. And that'll be a new OL style style. And then we can come down here and add the fill property and that will be our fill style. All right. And let's go ahead and save um, our code there. All right, now that we have that, you can start your live server, or if you still have yours pulled up, you can open that up. So to start, start the live server, remember you need to have the extension installed, and if you don't know how to do that, check out the previous video or my video on how to do the live server with Visual Studio Code. Um, but you can right-click, up, sorry, in your index.html file, and open with live server. And we have a problem here. Let me go just check out my other one. So I have this pulled up already. Um, we'll pull it up over here, and we will refresh that. And you can see we have a problem. So let's just go to inspect and see what our problem could be. And if we inspect, and you can see that we have uh, a syntax error on line 21. So let's go to line 21 of our script and see what my syntax problem is here. Okay, and so my problem here is that this should not be new dot, it should be new space ol style dot fill. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and open up our web page where we have our map running. And you can see now that I have these polygons that are red. Um, we can close this so we have a full screen. And there's they're totally opaque, there's no transparency, um, and there's no stroke on them. So let's go back to our code. And let's just change this so that it is, let's say, 50. And let's save that. And let's open our web page back up and refresh it. And we still don't have, let's try, maybe I did this wrong. Maybe this is a decimal. Let's try 0.5. And let's save that. And let's come back over here. And now you can see we have some transparency there. So my apologies. I told you that was a... Uh, an unsigned integer, but this one is actually going to be a double. Um, 
And so as we, we can change this to 10% or to make this one, it should be opaque again. So let's save that and let's go check our map again. And you can see there it is, it is opaque. Okay, let's head back over to our code. I wanna make these slightly transparent so we can see the differences between them. So I'm gonna make this uh, 0.25 and let's save that. Okay, now let's uh, make a stroke style. So we'll call this our stroke style. And this will equal new ol dot style dot stroke. And then we can add uh, our different properties for the stroke style here. Oh, and I'm just going to change that so that it has an E because I will definitely make spelling errors if I do not do that. Okay, and so for our stroke, we can specify also a color. So we can make this color, we can make this the same color. Let's do that. Let's give it a space there. So make it red. But we will make this um, fully opaque. And then we can also make a stroke width. So let's just um, make the width 1.0 here and see how that looks, okay? So now we just need to come down to our layer, work to our layer style, and we just need to add the stroke property. So we can add stroke, and then here we will add our stroke style. And we will save that, and now let's go take a look at our map. And you can see that I now have a red stroke that's totally opaque around each one of those. Okay, so you can play around with these to, to do whatever fits you best. Let's say I want to make that stroke black. We can head back over um, to our code. We can come over to our stroke style. I can make the 255 here a zero. I can save that, and when we do this, we'll go back, and now our stroke is black. We can increase the width of that. If I come over and make my width, uh, let's try 1.8 uh, to start off with, um, and then we can come back over, and you can see my stroke is wider. We can come back. I'm going to make this 3.8 to make it really wide, um, and we'll head back over to our polygons, and you can see my stroke is now really wide. Um, so that gives you the basics of how you can style polygons with open layers uh, to customize your web map. Um, and so at this point, you have a way that you can write some code to pull up a base map to put your data on top of it and have that be displayed in your web. Uh, you can host those data online on your website and show this map on your website. Um, so hopefully this has been useful for you so far. And I think we're going to keep moving on with open layers and do some other things. We can do some things like animate layers um, or animate points as they pop up on the map or layers and things like that. And so you can do some really, really neat stuff with web mapping and open layers. Um, anyway, back to our code here. So you can just make sure you have this uh, all lined up. All the new code we've added. Let me just see if I can scroll down. All the new code we've added is here in the window right now. Um, so you can see that there. Uh, I will try to get this up on my website and put a link in the description when it's up. But I'm really slow at that lately. I have a lot going on trying to finish a degree here and everything with the family and stuff. So uh, apologies that the code's not on the website, but I will try to get it there. Thank you for watching. Thanks for your support. Uh, and hope you have a great holiday season. We'll see you at the next one.